So um, I heard that you recently played in Hermosa Beach two nights in a row with the Circle Jerks. Mm -hmm. And what was that like for you, um, having it be one of your, you know, sober shows? Oh, oh that's a crazy question. You know what? Um, there were times that I I'd played sober in the past. I mean, this is kind of a this is a little bit of a fragile subject, and you're surprising me right now. You love me. I, yes, I do. <laughs> um, I have, in my recent sobriety, um, basically it, it is, um, it's just the opposite of what it is to, to play high or drunk or both, which I've done quite a bit of. Um, what ends up happening is, is that um, instead of feeling nervous all the way up to the stage uh, and, and then calming down on the first note, it's exactly the opposite. You don't feel anything until you hit the stage and then you're completely stressed out and anxious the entire time and feel like a caged animal. Um, I've actually, you know, I mean this is going to sound really un-punk un rock, but I, I don't care. I think that it's the most punk rock thing you could do is, is go against the grain. Um, in my early sobriety, I, I had uh, shows that I had to play and, uh, you know, um, be around a lot of drunken people, a lot of high people, uh, which I don't really mind that much, but uh, where I was um, so what they call spun out, like in my own brain, that I would literally go around the, the corner of the club in the alley and just cry up until the time I, I hit the stage. And if you can imagine, you know, playing a hardcore gig uh, with tears rolling down your cheek and everybody screaming and yelling and moshing and beating each other up, well, then you can imagine what it's like to play sober. Wow. Okay. That's pretty intense.